So, Sam, he's chest to chest with me. He's just kind of trying to hold me here. A lot of guys will get here and they'll kind of rest in this pummel position and they're just, or they'll half ass shoot and like act like they're trying to take you down. But all they're trying to do is hold you. I don't like guys who just try to hold you. You're going to use the wall, make it a weapon. I don't want to sit here and just kind of hang it. So we're going to work on a couple different options as far as how to get off the wall efficiently. All right? So first one's going to be if you're chest to chest and kind of that over under position. All right, so I'm here, playing over under, I'm trying to get off the wall, but Sam doesn't suck, so I'm here, right? All we're gonna do is the arm that is over the top here, I'm gonna collapse the elbow down as much as I can. So I'm here, collapsing in, grabbing the hands here. As soon as that elbow collapses, I'm going to step and turn here. So we're here, we're trying to, I don't like this, I don't like what's happening here, and I'm turning towards the side I have the arm one. Turning in, here. Well, as soon as I get to where my hips are off the wall, two options. One, drop back in. Great. Now I can wrestle and actually take him down and be a bitch. You know, grind him down, really drive him into the mat, just bitch him out. Wrestling Wrestling for bitches. Why kickbox? But we're here. That's option A. Boom, he gets there, I collapse. Get my butt out, drive in, boom, then we start to wrestle and hit our takedown. Option B, let's say I am really a kickboxer. I don't actually want to grapple, right? Boom, I step and turn. As soon as I get here, all we're looking to do is get our butt away from the wall as hard and fast as possible. Here, hands up, hips back. Just realize, just because he said we want to grapple doesn't mean we have to agree on that. A lot of people, when we're grappling, we're like, all right, he said we have to grapple, so no, we gotta grapple now. I love that about people. Most people will just fall into that grappling trap if you start. They won't think, oh man, I can just be like, hey, man, get the fuck off me. People do it on the ground all the time. They're like, oh, I gotta take it down. That means I have to spin the rest around and walk back. No one thinks to just like kick off and stand up. Okay, stand up, bro, it's not that hard. But no, most people don't think of that as an option. They think, oh, I have to sweep or submit. Really, you can kick out and stand up as well. Yes. So I don't care which one it is, you're here, you're chest to chest, you're pummeling, you already get in. As soon as you feel that you can collapse the elbow down, bop, gave a grip, turning towards the collapsed form here, and pulling those hips in. If you want to stay grappled in, boom, start, you know, get in position for your takedown. If not, turn, break off. Super slick. Questions. I know like a couple weeks ago we did the like, back break, yes. But still, so is that like basically you do that every like fucking time? Every time I do that. Anytime I wrap my hands around your waist and realize I'm doing that, just fuck you. Not enjoyable. No. That's why I do that every time. Because it instantly disengages all of his power. Regardless how big they are, the second I get your hips out like this, you're fucking weak. I don't care where you go. Even watch the big power lift. Like, uh, or you think he's strong like this? Watch any of the strong big power. No, like they're just in chest in. They do presses and pulls and all the pulls. Right? There's not a single one of their lifts where they're like, hey, let's get our hips way out in front of our chest and hope for the best. Right? So when I'm here, the second I can collapse that and pull those hips forward, that instantly makes Sam lose all his power. On an overhook, on his shot, everything. It won't hear, even if I'm going to break out. Perfect. Make sense? Fill her out. One, two, three. So I'm here with Dewey. So I'm here, right? Dewey goes in, and he's going to try to wrestle me. So like, he's grabbing right below the butt, he's trying to grab here, he's trying to wrestle. I don't appreciate that at all. So what we're going to do is one of two options. One is going to be through the nose, one is going to be through the shoulder. Depends on what you prefer. I prefer cross face. It's a little bit easier. So what we're going to look to do is, if you look at the padded thumb of your glove, there's that little ridge right there. I want to put that ridge right across his nose. Here. And all I'm going to do is look to drive his nose across and up. Now I'm going to do this gently, because I like it. You won't marry the right one. <laughs> so, I drive it here, 
And as I do this, I'm shifting my hips out towards the head. Here. Once again. Two up. Get the hell away. Boom. I hear, I shuffle out. Boom. Wrestle back in. I don't care which it is. No both options are there. Try both. Makes sense on the nose. Now, if you're here, he drives into that shot, and I don't like what's happening. All we're going to do is I'm going to reach under on the head side, grab my hands right on the cap of his shoulder. All we're going to do is look to use that by ripping up and over. Same thing, break, or use that, wrestle back in. If you prefer able, Especially in big and little gloves, it's just gonna be a solid grip. Pressure in the in the forearm in his back. Pressure pulling this up and in. Pulling this in, turn. I like to walk it up here. Give him a good couple knees, but that's his violence. Is the answer. Alright. Questions on either of those? Refreshing our resting on the wall skills. One, two, three. So then you're going to have guys who are real low. Like they're almost like on their knee here, like trying to just hold. It. They're like, ah, I don't, I can't figure out how to finish this takedown, but I also don't know that I need to because I'm just trying to hold it here for a second. Get a breather, take a knee, not get eaten in the second face. You know, it's Andy, I can't help it. So pretty safe here as an amateur. It's not fun, but space under that shoulder. Yeah, it's not great, but you're breathing and you get through, right? So when I'm here, all we're going to look to do is go to a chest wrap. So I'm here, here, and as I kick my legs back, I'm going to pull up. So I'm here. How many of you know who Kyle Bacon is? One of the best wrestlers in college and the Olympic level. He won four national titles in four different weight classes. His match with David Taylor was the most anticipated NCAA finals match. Recent history, maybe history. So, he, this is how he defends a double at the world level. Here, and I watched him do it. Collapse your elbows, roll your hands in. Here, here. And what I'm trying to do is put it through your sternum. He said if it doesn't, if your partner's sternum isn't bruised after a day of drilling this, you didn't do it. That was his goal. So when we're here, here, I'm shuffling out to the track head side and getting my hips back. Two options again. I can grapple or do that. Either way, getting to that chest wrap, breaking that spine posture, allows you to then shuffle out of the way. Yeah. Think about it. Most of the moves I teach you focuses on a couple things. Being positionally correct and getting him positionally correct. It's not about, realize if I'm fighting Dewey, and he throws an overhand right, and I'm like, whee, and I'm like behind him, we probably shouldn't have taken it. Like, He's terrible, I'm too good, like nothing good's happening. Like, <laughs> so you gotta realize that it's not about being able to get behind Duke. If he throws that overhand, it's about being able to be in that position to count. Make him make this big of a mistake so that I can slide right through that hole. So he throws that overhand right, I hit that liver shot real quick. Roll hit. Because I'm not gonna get behind him and, you know, spin him around like a top. I do it to you guys for fun. Most of you guys wouldn't accept the fight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah. Because they wouldn't ask you when we had class. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> so that's what you got to realize is <clears throat> it's about winning in a game of inches, not miles. Or even feet. It's about winning an inch. Anyway. So position. So when I get his spine out of position, he dives in real low on the shot. Here. If Dewey tries to finish the shot here, Real hard. It hurts. <laughs> Drive into it all you want, it hurts real bad. That's the nice part about this is you can 
set yourself up for success by just getting him out of position this much. Do he thinks he's in a great spot? Why did he feel like connect money? Make sense? Drill her out. One, two, three. 